Okay, on shape, parts to ready for the laser. So notice I have a drawing here. I put my parts that I need. One, two, three. I have a drawing. I deleted all the border stuff and all the title box stuff because I don't want to laser those the border onto my material. So I just have the pieces I need. Um, I'm going to put, I need two of each of these wheels. So I'm going to do that in Illustrator. Okay, so once you have your drawing set up like this, now um, we're going to go to Illustrator. But I want to make sure that you have one more thing set right. So these drawings have to be put in at one-to-one -one scale. One-to-one -one scale. So if I go to View Properties here, it's one-to-one -one scale. Okay, that means it's going to come out at the exact size you drew it. So that's really important, one-to-one -one scale. All right, so there's our drawing. So we're going to right-click down here, two-finger click, Export. And give it a name that you know. Uh, give it a name that you that makes sense. So drawing one is kind of nonsense. How about how about um, trap racer parts 01. 01, because you're gonna have a lot of these files. 01, num number it. Okay, we want a DXF drawing exchange file. And this stuff is fine the way it has it here. And we're gonna hit export. And for me, it pops up on my Chrome tab down here, eventually. And then we're going to, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So there it is. Trap Racer Parts DXF. I'm going to drop it to my desktop. Now I'm going to open Illustrator, which is right here. Now Illustrator is already open for me. I opened it, so I'm just going to drag it onto my dock and drop it into Illustrator. All right, now this part's kind of critical. You have to make sure that your artwork is set at original size. Okay. Um, now, within Illustrator, there's different units that the different types of professional designers use. One of them is points. Okay, so my units in, in Onshape is inches. So if I make one unit to one point, it's going to come out wrong so let me let me just click OK and let's see what happens we never want to scale it okay we want to set our settings so we don't have to scale it so let's just click OK and take a look at what we get remember that frame was about you know four inches long so so look what we got here we got tiny tiny little sketches that that aren't even resolved you know that aren't even Okay, so we gotta we gotta change our scale. So what you have to do in Illustrator, especially if you haven't used Illustrator, is go to the up here to the Apple uh, uh, Illustrator Preferences. Go to Illustrator Preferences, Units, and you're gonna set this to inches, 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 inches. For type, for text, it doesn't really matter. So inches, inches, inches. Okay. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to close this. And let's let's open that again. Uh, Trap Racer Parts is here. Let's open this and see if it comes up. All right, now look. It says one scale to one unit is inches. So we'll click OK. And there it is. Now it's looking good. All right. Now my drawing, I had some other parts on the sides, but we can click those and just get rid of those. So here's our here's our file. Okay. Great. So once you have them in Illustrator, that's half the battle. Okay, now when we're in Illustrator, I'll look at making our drawing board a little bit bigger and copying and pasting these in the next video. So make sure you go to Illustrator, set your preferences, set your units to inches, and um, and then we can get in here and really start making this right for the laser. That'll be the next video. All right? Stay tuned. So long.